I was always interested in wood. It was just something I enjoyed doing. It started with a big maple tree. It was really big and I wanted to get rid of it. It just dawned on me, I'll make a mushroom. And it just happened, I did not plan it. It just turned out to be a mushroom. Over the last four years, John has transformed many tree trunks into pieces of art. I want to make something that appeals to me, that's different, that nobody else is doing. He donates most of his work. When it's done, you know, I don't mind parting with it. John's latest projects are tributes to his lifelong idol. Well, you wonder why I always dress in black. Johnny Cash. Why you never see bright colors on my back. I joined the Army in 1962. I was 17. And before that time, I had had every Johnny Cash record that came out. It was just something, you know, I had to have them. I took those records with me to Germany when I joined the Army. During my time in Germany, I wrote Johnny Cash a couple letters, and he answered them. And he sent me pictures of himself and things like that. And I always just felt like, I, you know, that he was just like a, a friend. In 1977, he met Johnny Cash at a concert in Omaha. We sat right in the wings, right by Johnny and the rest of them playing, and they treated us like royalty. There are two things John likes to do play guitars, and make guitars. Johnny Cash had a lot of guitars. He crafted two Martin guitars. The whole time I'm working on these, I, I know that somewhere I've got to find a home for them. They found a home at the Johnny Cash Museum in Tennessee. And now he's currently working on a third. I'll just grab the chainsaw start cutting off big portions of it. I just gotta watch what I'm cutting off because I don't really know where I'm going yet. Uh, one mistake and I've just wasted all my time. The closer I get to where I'm going, the, the slower it gets and the work gets finer. Being a self-taught carver, John has learned some hard lessons along the way. A couple years back, the chainsaw, slipped through a piece of the log and I took a chunk of meat out of my leg with it. I wrapped a rag around it, I furnace taped it, and I went back down and went to work. Uh, another time I cut the end of my finger off with one of my rotary grinders, put it back in position, put some tape around it, it eventually grew back. With a chainsaw you do so much of what I'm doing that you shouldn't do with a chainsaw. Pushing it into the log, using it above your head, just doing a lot of things that they're not meant for, and it's dangerous. John is giving this guitar to a friend who owns a music-themed bar. Friends and family gather to celebrate the completion of John's newest guitar. It's an honor to have something like this placed here. You know, we've had it here for a few days, and I already had probably 20 people taking pictures with it. Um, it's amazing. I can't believe it was a tree. Jim Casey, a friend of Johnny Cash, is providing entertainment. I ended up a friend of the Cash's, and he liked me because I was from Nebraska. All right, boys, let's do a Johnny Cash song. For me, celebrating Johnny Cash and being next to this big guitar, that's what you'd imagine. John was a giant, and so was his guitar. Love. Is a burning thing. What must have been going on inside him that was burning for him to do this, driven, is the same thing that songwriters in the 70s were after. It was a burning fire with no reward in sight. You carve that, you don't know what it's going to be, but you're going to do it anyway. Nobody does something like that. <laughs> Who in the world except you? It's what God puts us here to do. He put John here to carve that guitar. Make it look real, but much bigger than life. That's my favorite thing. <laughs>